How do you overcome limitation? Let me tell you something. And you have to believe this. It is something you hear a lot. But so many people don't do it. Limitation exists in the mind, not in reality. You can give me any reason you are not able to... Limitation is putting, putting, a, putting an end to, to, a, to, a, to a distance, right? I'm here, I want to go there. There's a limit here. And the thing is, if you're trying to push through it, most of the time, you, you're relying on something to happen in order for you to step forward. For example, if I was motivated, I would go work out. If I was motivated, I would clean my car. If I was motivated, I will organize the office. And once you rely on an external factor, that's the moment you lose your motivation. Motivation is created. It's not, you create it. Like, like today, I didn't get enough sleep. I was out with my uh, friends. We, we just ate, came back towards the end of the day. I'm feeling tired, yes. But what do I have to do? Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just skip this this uh, live video for next time? No, I'm tired, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step forward because what's gonna happen is once you take the first step, the beginning is always the hardest. Then once you push through, the motivation starts, but that's on you to make that decision, to push through. Any limitation you can think of, I'm gonna tell you, I can give you all examples of limitation, nothing but in the mind. If you think limitation, for example, you're, if your limitation was let's say workout i don't feel motivated to go work out you come with me at my gym and i can show you someone on a wheelchair working out every single day the guy never misses a day how about this check this out there's this lady that comes she's blind she comes with her dog and does yoga every single week never misses okay i consider myself grew up in the gym Okay, never misses. So tell me where is the limitation? Is it really, is it, is it lack of, lack, lack of you make? You might not feel motivated to make that decision, but first you have to decide and then you take a step forward. I'll give you an example of myself. I moved to the United States. I was 15 years old, barely knew how to speak English. I was made fun of. I would sit in a class like, like deaf and mute, can't communicate my, my message across. And what was my limitation? I don't speak English. Why even bother do homework? I don't speak English. Why bother do something? And that made me depressed. It was very depressing. Till I overcame that limit by making a new decision. You know what? I'm just going to learn. You know what? I'm going to do it anyways. Well, guess what? I went from not speaking English. Fast forward 15 years, years later, I started getting paid to speak. Some of you have been to my workshops before. There are some people in here have been to my workshops before. The guy who did not speak English, now he's getting paid to speak. I don't say that to brag about it, but I'm telling you, it wasn't here, okay? Someone I know, a friend of mine, her car is such a mess. She goes, I don't have time to clean it. That is the limitation. That is the limitation is if you keep telling me I don't have time, I have to, instead of saying, how can I make more time? How can I find more time? And then you do it. But the thing is, most people don't do, listen to me, most people don't do what they need to do because they are waiting, underline this, waiting for the motivation to come. Now, if you wait for the motivation to come, that's like, I'm going to wait until, I'm going to wait outside until the bus comes, picks me up and takes me to where I want to go. How much effort, how much control you have on that uh, mindset? If you're going to wait for the bus to come pick you up, the bus, chances are, will never show up. It's going to rain, it's going to storm, it's going to freeze to death. Yes, there are people have today, they wanted to do everything they can 20 years ago. They still haven't done nothing. Why? They're not allowing themselves to go beyond. Okay? Now, if something, you're trying to do something is not working, simply change. Right? It's like construction can can go through, I'm going to change direction. I'm going to go around instead, right? The best, see, see, human beings as creatures, we are the luckiest one on this planet. We have the ability to, be, to, be, to survive like more than any other animals out there. That's why we were able to survive for, for millions of years. 
because we have the ability to adapt to change the ability to adapt to change and most people don't want to adapt to the change because they get too comfortable being comfortable they wait for the motivation to happen in order to get out of a comfort zone every time I had to do something whether 90% of the time whether I worked out organize my office clean my car follow a diet prep for a speaking event film a video I was not motivated to do it I wish I could just push a button and things just happen but guess what it doesn't it doesn't work like that every day I brush and floss my teeth every single day twice a day never almost never miss unless I forget in the nighttime, before I go to the restroom, I'm like, ah, I really hate to get, get, do, why do we have to floss and brush our teeth? But guess what? In our time, that level of comfort does not exist. So guess who has to take responsibility? It's either me or the outcome. And if the outcome is something I don't like, I'm going to take full responsibility, do it regardless, whether I enjoy doing it or not enjoy doing it, because the outcome the results later will satisfy me. The results later is what gives me pleasure. You might not be, you might not be able to, if you're not motivated to do something, it sucks. Yes, if you work out and not motivated, you don't really enjoy the workout much. When you're motivated to work out, it's more fun. I agree, 100%. So how do I do it, for example? I work out seven days a week. If I miss, I miss once or twice a month, no more. And the reason why I do it without taking time off, and I don't suggest for anybody to train so hard and not take time off, is because I do it because it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a challenge between me and my procrastination, the impulsiveness to be to procrastinate for comfort. And to me, I'm like, okay, I do deserve a day off for sure, but the fact that I feel lazy, it's about it's like it's a, I take it personal. It's me against laziness. Get the hell out of my face. Move forward. Take the action. Do it. So if you did something, if you like, let's say, you don't feel like, ah, oh, man, I need time. I'm going to organize my car. I don't feel motivated to do it. I'll do it later. Do it when you don't feel good about doing it. Do it like, okay, I'm not motivated. Do it. And then when it's done, that's when you get the pleasure, the outcome. Turn your outcome to the pleasure, not the, just the process. Okay? Because not everything you're going to do is going to be already halfway made for you that's not gonna happen okay hope you don't approach it this way I always think about everything I want to do is gonna take me three times the effort okay and if I'm not enjoying doing it I'm talking about tasks then I do I'm gonna measure the outcome but this is gonna be worth it I might not like to work out but the results I'm gonna get is gonna be a pleasure I'm drinking I'm drinking ginger tea and green tea bitter it doesn't taste good not at all it's got some spice taste to it but I know it's good for my digestion system I'm gonna get my pleasure from the results and not from sipping this tea do you get it and I tell a lot, a lot of people say how do you drink a lot of water I don't like the taste of water you don't like the taste of water I don't like the taste of water in fact water doesn't have taste supposedly but Yes, I, I'd rather drink Gatorade instead. But why do I drink water? Because I enjoy the taste of the results that water gives me. The outcome. And pay, pay attention to the outcome. If you're seeking better taste, if you're seeking ease, then you're still stuck in your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. 